All right, folks, I think you might, you might like this one. I'm 10 years out from playing collegiate D1 soccer, and I do not train with a size five ball anymore. I'll tell you why. If you were to distill down the essential training tools that you could use to play at the highest level of sport, I've cut it down to these four balls, tennis ball, a heavy ball, right? You rotate between these two to juggling, to, to improve your juggling. The heavy ball will improve power. The light ball, right? Tennis ball will, will improve precision. As you sharpen your touch, you'll become more dangerous on the field. Size one ball. Size one ball you use for dribbling and ball mastery. It's like when you're playing Call of Duty, Halo. If you jack up the sensitivity at first, it becomes hard to manipulate your player on the screen. But as you become aware of the sensitivity, your vision improves. As your vision improves, you'll be able to better dominate competition. I found, I found the same thing with a smaller ball. The last ball is just a simple ball on a rope. This ball on a rope, it increases your volume of training, right? You can, um, you can tune into your breathing, your awareness, and it helps you um, just increase your volume of touches. There's a story of the, one of the best player, chess players of all time. His name is Josh Waitzkin, and he wanted to learn how to surf, and he was living in New York City. So he bought what's called a one wheel, which is kind of like an electric skateboard. Um, except a one wheel, it helps you um, balance similar to surfing because you're riding, you're riding on it perpendicular to the direction of the one wheel. So he would ride this one wheel all over New York City. So when he got to Costa Rica, the transition from the one wheel to the surfboard was almost seamless, right? It was, he was practicing for thousands and thousands of hours surfing by riding the one wheel. This ball on a rope is similar. This ball on a rope is to soccer as the one wheel is to surfing. It's just a fun way to get lots of touches, improve um, both your feet, right? Um, there's sense ball, right? You can go to senseball.com. This is a skills kick trainer. So you have all these balls, right? That are gonna improve, that are gonna, right? It's the outliers. It's not the size five you want. You don't need a size five to have world-class training. You want the outliers. You want a ball to dribble with to learn ball mastery moves. You want a ball that Im improves your timing, your rhythm, your touch, your coordination, your balance, your weight transfer. And then you want a heavy ball and a light ball to improve your juggling. And if you can improve your juggling, you're gonna improve your shooting, you're gonna improve your passing. So for those reasons, right, I've been traveling around the world. I bring these balls with me and it's completely changed my life. I'm 10 times the player I was getting out of college, right? I could juggle a tennis ball a hundred times and you know, I could juggle this, this heavy ball. It's completely improved my shooting technique, my passing form, everything's gotten better. So for anyone who's trying to, who's trying to train smarter, I would, I would get a size one ball, right? One more time, a size one ball for ball mastery and dribbling. A tennis ball, right, easy enough. A heavy ball, this is a 2.2 pound heavy ball from Champion Barbell, right? This is gonna improve your power and juggling. And then just a ball on a rope. With these four balls, you can completely train, change the trajectory of your training and improve the quality of your training. So I hope, I hope these ideas help anyone and uh, reach out with, uh, for more questions. All right, thank you.